Like and subscribe in the next five seconds if you'd love to receive Happy New Year V-Bucks on your Fortnite account in 2021. Fortnite 2021 is just on the horizon and with the new year approaching, despite the new Fortnite crew bundle being Green Arrow already revealed by Fortnite, there's a ton of information not only in the game's coding but revealed directly by Epic Games on certain live streams they've had, basically teasing or showing directly what they're working on for the first update of this brand new year. And with Operation Snowdown coming to a close, or so we thought anyways with the free rewards we could earn only lasting until December 30th, this event actually ends on January 5th 2021 and even after then Epic Games won't be updating the game straight away, so I figured in today's video, why not go over all the information that's either been leaked or teased at by Epic Games to do with what's upcoming in this next update, which is actually a big one for customization in terms of what we can do to our weapons, perhaps literally two weeks into 2021 or January itself of this new year. So with that said, if that sounds good to you, make sure you're sticking around and watching the full thing today, it's not going to be too long, and whilst you're at it, make sure to enter code friendly machine in the Fortnite item shop if you've got Fortnite loaded up right now, or the next time you log on. As an epic partner it greatly supports the channel and obviously I'm one of very few YouTubers on the platform that gifts 5 subscribers every single day. And before we literally prove that I just want to remind you guys that 70% of you watching right now maybe perhaps without realising aren't subscribed. So do yourself a favour, stop what you're doing right now. Yes, the screen went black, and hit that big red button so you can become one of the 30% that's eligible to be gifted. So yeah, if you do want to receive a gift, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with all notifications turned on, and then comment your Epic Games ID down below so perhaps you could be shown gifted in the next video even in front of thousands of eyes to see. So the first thing to mention before we get into all the 2021 stuff and the new features that are going to be contained within the next update, as of today, if it wasn't already obvious from the gameplay in the background, me using Frost Squad, this skin, the final free skin, of Operation Snowdown, or the second should I say, considering we only store two, is available. Here are all the challenges and other rewards that we earn along the way of actually, you know, obtaining Frost Squad for completing 12 of the quests. And if you're watching this video as soon as it goes live, there's going to be two more challenges and rewards we can earn throughout Operation Snowdown. However, the event goes on again until January 5th, 2021. Here are those challenges and the rewards attached on screen right now, so feel free to obviously, you know, prepare in advance for what we're going to have to do on the 29th to unlock this reward, and then the third to unlock the New Year themed reward too. And speaking of New Year rewards, it's kind of been a letdown this year's winter event, as last year with Winterfest anyways, we not only saw everything we've been presented this year, but instead of quests they were called challenges, but we had 14 more additional free rewards considering the Crackshot Cabin was here, with the Winterfest presents that we could open as kind of login rewards every single day. Not only that, but speaking of New Year too, considering we only have one reward surrounding it, being the confetti wrap that kind of looks like fireworks or celebrations going off, that you can see gameplay of on screen right now. Not only in Winterfest last year, but even the prior years, we had the Equalizer Glider, which was literally more than what we're seeing right now, just a wrap. And then the next year for Winterfest, we not only had the New Year's wrap, but the 2020 Glider, and even the 2020 Kickflip Bat Bling that was basically a brand new skateboard Bat Bling, not like the other one that we can just earn selectable styles for. And this actually came with four selectable styles, one of which you can see I'm wearing on my back right now, out of, well, all these four. And with New Year rapidly approaching, considering in prior videos, yes, we've already revealed the firework display early of what it'll look like on the Chapter 2 Season 5 Island slash map. Believe it or not, we're actually going to be seeing this most of the world anyways on December 31st, but before we enter January 1st, 2021. This is simply because of the fact, well, when New Zealand enter 2021, they're the first country to do so out of all in the world considering their time zone hits it first. And speaking of that in itself, time zones around the world, with every country or different time zone that enters 2021, this live event will play in game, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that, especially if you think it's gone off early on December 31st. As because I mentioned, even if it's not midnight wherever you live, it will be in New Zealand. Also, very quickly too, before we move on to the weapon modding update and everything contained within 15.20 that we know of right now, around the time of the new year before Epic Games return, they have big things to rotate throughout the item shop or things that they know will go down a treat with the community. And with that said, with one of the examples being DJ Bop as an outfit that people actually speculated would be free in the last 14 days of Fortnite events. This of course then came to the item shop and despite the fact that we're lacking in this year's Christmas event so it seems compared to the last anyways, in terms of the item shop cosmetics surrounding the new year itself, it looks like Epic Games have gone above and beyond considering we have these two very celebration like looking bundles almost as if it's complementing the new year we're entering. Here are the names of those that you've seen in the background video or what they'll look like when they enter the item shop which I'm guessing will be near new year if not the new year item shop rotation. 
And this footage was of course provided by a data miner called Nutella, who will be linked in the video description down below if you want to check out his Twitter. But yeah, which one is your favourite out of these two bundles, considering they're very similar, none of the characters have any distinguishable human-like features such as a face, a mask, they're literally just kind of like a morph suit with patterns on. And of course, if you happen to pick any of these up, make sure to rock code friendly machine inside the Fortnite item shop, as I'm literally the first person to probably showcase this to you on YouTube. Moving on anyways to 2021, what's going to be happening after or even in the first update of what arrives when the new year actually hits. The first piece of information that you guys probably remember from previously in this video mentioned a few minutes ago, yes, the Operation Snowdown event doesn't end. The day after the final reward is earned being the confetti wrap itself, it goes until January 5th, but this may even get extended to give all players a chance, you know, to get all the free rewards contained within it, and that will then bide them time to update the game next week after returning to office. And this 15.20 update will be halfway through in terms of the season or updates we're going to be seeing themselves, as we're only seeing a total of four downtime updates, whereas last season we saw a total of six. And believe it or not, the season is actually going to be longer, considering this literally ends Chapter 2 Season 5 mid-March. And all I'm saying is the next updates throughout Chapter 2 Season 5 better be good. 15.10 was kind of a flop in terms of a winter event, but I think everybody expects two high of Epic Games, and they may have focused all their attention and energy on the Galactus Live event last season. And speaking of these next updates, we know at least some of the features that are going to be updated into it and the transitions Epic Games are going to be making to make the game more like a platform with every update that passes according to Tim Sweeney rather so than just a game. This statement is also speaking for itself right now in the background with Epic Games showing off for the first time not only how Fortnite will operate on their newly transitioned engine running or operating system Unreal Engine 5 but how we're going to be able to use more creative tools being live in-game edits or modding. Fortnite Creative was honestly something that everybody loved anyways for its unique potential of what players could achieve or create, but with them adding these new Unreal Engine 5 creation tools, this will undoubtedly result in bigger and more complex user-made maps and game modes, and to be honest, mods often overshadow the games that they modify, so the potential is huge. And when this is added, it's not going to be something that's updated into the game once and then forgotten about, or even just untouched. Something interesting, however, that points toward this not being implemented in the 15.20 update or the first one of the next year, 2021, is what the lead programmer of Epic Games came out stating about the newly introduced or worked on creative moderation system. I think we still have to figure out moderation and what it looks like, so we're a little thoughtful there, but it's super powerful to be able to import your own assets and create your own content and things that don't look like Fortnite. So ultimately this backs up the statement that attached this article in the first place about Fortnite becoming a platform and, to be honest, not so much Fortnite anymore with everybody being able to have their own input or unique spin on it. And speaking of modification, Epic Games are going all out in investing their time or energy in developing this as they've been testing according to Hypex a brand new weapons mechanic at some point that they're going to be implementing called in the coding currently weapon mod slots and it seems to give the weapon abilities or attachments kind of like what we're seeing currently in Call of Duty but obviously most of the multiplayer first person shooter or shooter games also already had this too. In terms of what that may look like it may be integrated as a new menu or layout in our locker as its personal customization and upon editing or saving all the attachment changes or abilities on a weapon we then get them applied to every rarity of that weapon that we pick up. Even if we put attachments on a scar, like you can see in the concept that I'm using in the video thumbnail for today, this is then applied to the grey, green and blue variants of the assault rifle being, well, this version. And to be honest, it seems very interesting that all of this information is surfacing as of lately to do with brand new unique weapons that we can customise, as literally so many weapons as of lately have been leaked in terms of what haven't been put into Fortnite, but are still in the game's coding of what could be upcoming for either an LTM or as parts of this customization feature that we can add to our weapons personally. I'm not going to name them all or showcase all the full clips of those, but you guys will have been seeing some wacky looking weapons that we've never seen before or anything like in the gameplay in the background provided by ZimTom over on Twitter. And yeah, with everything mentioned in today's video, that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over. So if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, drop a like in this video down below if you want to keep referring back to it or if you simply just enjoyed it, like I said. And one final thing you can do right now to make my year or start my next year very well is enter code friendly machine in the Fortnite item shop. Literally so much support shown on the code and I can't thank you guys enough. And with that said, I'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video.